what can you say? What an impressive, dominant, very, very impressive win for the San Francisco 49ers over the Miami Dolphins. They tried to talk crap leading up to this game. San Francisco took that personal. And you could tell by the way that they responded in this football game with physicality, with toughness, with swagger. The Dolphins, high potent offense with Tua Tagovailoa going up against the number one Niners defense. Everybody in the national media expected Miami to come through with the victory. It's the San Francisco 49ers who end up winning their fifth consecutive game and their defense in the final quarter put the smack down on that Miami offense and former coach Mike McDaniel. Our post-game show is presented by RexMD. If you head to RexMD.com slash chat, 90% off, $2 per dosage. We'll put that link in the comment section and the description of this video. So the final score of this one, 33-17. to 17. And it's crazy how this game started. As Tua, in a very fittingly way, considering all of the anticipation, all of the lead up to this game, smack talk between both sides, ended up resulting in a Tua to Trent Sherfield, a former Niner, 75-yard touchdown on the opening play of the game as the Dolphins are able to silence the stadium, take a 7-0 lead, and send a statement to the opposite sideline from Mike McDaniel to Kyle Shanahan to let Shanahan know from Mike McDaniel, his former protege, hey, we are for real, we're coming for you. But then the Niners respond in a beautiful fashion, and they win this game and dominate with brute physicality. 33-17 is the final, and they did it in a game in which Jimmy Garoppolo left in the first quarter, and they took down the Miami Dolphins with Brock Purdy as the starting quarterback. 25 of 37 for Brock, 210 yards, two touchdowns and one interception. And we're learning right now that Jimmy Garoppolo, this is breaking news here on the 49ers report, has a broken foot. He is out for the year. And now Brock Purdy is going to be this team's starting quarterback moving forward. And for a team that has Super Bowl aspirations, that is very much problematic. Now, if you want Niners videos on the daily, make sure you subscribe to the show. And this is why you subscribe, because this is massive news coming on the 49ers report. That Jimmy G is out for the remainder of the season with a broken foot. On top of Trey Lance being out for the year with that broken ankle. Huge blow to this Niners team that has Super Bowl aspirations. And Jimmy G now ruled out for the season. So to show him some love, type JG in the comment section. And as of right now, barring a miracle that Trey Lance is somehow able to come back, which I don't think he's going to be able to because Kyle Shanahan ruled that out this week, it is going to be the Brock Purdy show. This team is stacked up enough on both sides of the ball to at least absorb that for the rest of the year. But to win a Super Bowl without Jimmy G, that right there is going to be a tall task. It is very hard to center our concentration outside of Jimmy Garoppolo, and we're going to try our best to do that. There's a lot to talk about on our post-game show. Brock Purdy's performance, how the defense showed up. I have to show love to Debo Samuel. But first, let's show love to our presenting sponsor in RexMD. 90% off, only have to pay $2 per dosage at RexMD.com slash chat. Fellas, do you sometimes lack confidence in the bedroom? We've all had those nights where we get too nervous or maybe had too much to drink. There's nothing worse than not being able to put the stick into stick shift and put that into drive when you need it the most. But have no fear. RexMD is here spreading cheer even when you have a few too many beers. RexMD is FDA approved and the most trusted leader in men's telehealth. They have sponsored today's 49ers report to help you always be prepared. RexMD has made it simple, easy, cost-effective to help all the men out there last longer and feel more confident in the bedroom. RexMD makes getting generic and branded Viagra or Cialis easy. Everything's online, even the prescription, and they deliver it discreetly to your door. No waiting rooms, no embarrassing trips to the doctor, no insurance, and no co-pays. Take advantage of their best deal they've ever offered. 
and save up to 90% off and only pay $2 per dosage with our exclusive link. Go to rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are now available for our listeners to get started. That's rexmd.com slash chat for up to 90% off. Give the gift of pleasure this holiday season with RexMD. Now, if you want to be involved in our post-game show, send in the Super Chat. Use the hashtag 49ers because obviously it's massive news with Jimmy Garoppolo, according to reports, being out for the rest of the season. Brock Purdy, I thought, came in. And let's talk about him because he's next in line to be the Niners starting quarterback. He came in and he kind of balled. He threw that first staff interception. A lot of people will knock him for that. But basically, I thought that was a punt on that fourth and short in which Kyle Shanahan had called. Brock Purdy has so many weapons on the offensive side of the ball in a ground game to make it work. Obviously, San Francisco's Super Bowl aspirations might be damaged with this injury to Jimmy Garoppolo and not having Trey Lance. Because Brock Purdy is what Brock Purdy is. And he completed the day 25 at 37, 210 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. McCaffrey was fantastic as a receiver and as a ball carrier, totaling more than 100 total yards. And I thought that Debo Samuel showed some guts in this football game. Six catches, 58. He was battling that quad injury all throughout the year. But he really put the team on his back in some critical situations in which he needed to the most and was able to really play awesome football and show resiliency and show toughness. And that's a big reason why the Niners decided to pay him all that extra money because when you see a player who's making that much money, had the impact and carry himself and put forward the effort that Debo Samuel has, that's what's impressive. But with Brock Purdy, we have to talk about this here, right? Because... Barring the Niners signing a quarterback externally, he is going to be the starting quarterback for this football team. And it's a team that's won five straight. They're rounding in a form. They are 8-4 and four right now. They're playing great football. They have the NFL's best defense. With the way that they have constructed this roster, they are built to win right now. And not having Jimmy Garoppolo or Trey Lance puts the ball in the hands of Brock Purdy to be the guy. And yes... If you have to take on a team at home in the playoffs or go on the road in the playoffs with Brock Purdy as your starting quarterback, the guy who is selected with the final pick in the seventh round, that's going to be a tall task. But the Niners, at least as of right now, are sitting pretty. Leaders in the NFC West. They've won five games in the row. They're eight and four. But this news of losing Jimmy G certainly hurts for the rest of the season. And let's go back to Purdy here. You know, he is what he is. He's got a solid arm, but not great. He's got solid athleticism, but not elite. I like how he's willing to take risks. There were a couple of times throughout this game in which he fit the ball into really tight windows. And Kyle Shanahan is going to have to evolve and grow the offense to cater it to Brock Purdy's strengths. But let's give credit also to Kyle Shanahan. He has had Nick Mullins ready to play. He has had C.J. Beathard ready to play. He has won a lot of games with a limited Jimmy Garoppolo. And now he's going to have to do the same with Brock Purdy. And for Shanahan, he has not won a lot of games outside of Jimmy G. But this team has the capability to win games with Purdy. You think about their identity. They are tough. They are mentally savvy. Today against the Miami Dolphins, they showed this intestinal fortitude that was so, so impressive. I guess an offense in which everybody thought that they were going to light the Niners up. In the second half, they were terrific. Now, yes, they gave up points in the second half for the first time in five games. But Tua Tungavaloa looked confused. And if your defense continues to play like that with a good secondary, with a good pass rush, defensive player of the year type of player in Nick Bosa, You can keep these games low scoring, play complimentary football, and be safe with the football offensively for you to really reach your expectations as a unit. And you have Christian McCaffrey. You have Debo Samuel. You have Brandon Ayuk. You have George Kittle. You have Jawan Jennings and Ray Ray McLeod. 
Brock Purdy can disperse the football all across the field and help you win games. But can he win you big playoff games? That's really the big question here. And my goodness, what awful injury luck for San Francisco. They lose Trey Lance in week two against Seattle. Done for the year with that fracture in his ankle. To have two season-ending injuries to two quarterbacks, Jimmy G and Trey Lance, is extremely rare. And I feel for Jimmy Garoppolo here, an opportunity after that report from Ian Rappaport that there was open interest for him returning from his side and the Niners' side for a guy who's dealt with a lot of injuries throughout his career to have an opportunity to maybe lead this team to the Super Bowl. And now he's out for the year. That's a huge lost opportunity for him. Let's pivot to this Super Chat and donation coming in from G-Code Travels Vlog POV. Does this Jimmy G-Code injury change re-signing him? It might. It might because he's so injury prone. And right now, San Francisco limited with the roster changes or roster additions that they can make because the trade deadline is passed. Free agent quarterbacks out there, who's the best one? Cam Newton, who's awful? You can't trade for a Tom Brady. You can't make that big splash move out there. You try to get Ryan Fitzpatrick out of retirement, who in the last couple of weeks has said he's pretty much done? Precarious territory for this franchise here. And it ain't good. 16 Bar King, $2 Super Chat, another dub. Bar's coming. 16 Bar King, let us know if those bars are coming. Because I want to see what types of bars you can bring. Let's go to that Brock Purdy way in here. Because I thought that Purdy tonight was bold. I thought that Purdy tonight made some big plays. Yeah, has the nickname of Big Cock Brock. So type BCB in the comment section. You look at the overall stats, Purdy, 25 at 37, 210, two touchdowns and a pick. Jimmy Garoppolo was only 2 of 4 for 56 yards. On the ground, the Niners, 34 carries, 121 yards, 3.5 yards per tote. Christian McCaffrey led the way with 17 carries for 66 yards. Jordan Mason, 8 carries for 51. On the receiving end, McCaffrey, 8 for 80. Debo Samuel, 6 for 58. Ayuk, 5 for 46. Jawan Jennings, 2 for 34. George Kittle, 2 for 22. Overall team stats in this matchup. Niners really dominated this game against Miami, who were 8-0 when Tua had started and finished a game. 24-14 first downs. Total plays, 79 for the Niners, 45 for Miami, 351 yards to 308. The edge for San Francisco. And this defense, once again, proving that it is the best in the NFL. The Dre Greenlaw scoop and score. Getting consistent pressure on Tua Tungavaloa. The Jimmy Ward pick. The Dre Greenlaw scoop and score. That is all a byproduct of the Niners continuing to get pressure on Tua. And yes, they had the long touchdown to Tyreek Hill. They had the long touchdown to Trent Sherfield to start the game. But this Niners defense buckled down. This Niners defense stood tall. In the biggest moments of this game, they really had to perform well and show to everybody why they're the number one defense in the NFL. And that's going to have to continue now with Jimmy G out and Brock Purdy in. Is there a massive difference between Jimmy Garoppolo and Brock Purdy in terms of quarterback talent? No. In terms of experience, yes. And that's where the drop-off certainly takes place. Who would have thought that Brock Purdy would be this team's starting quarterback during the stretch run of the playoff with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming to town? But how about Nick Bosa? Three more sacks on the year now. He continues to have Defensive Player of the Year honors. 11 and a half sacks. Still a lot of game left and a lot of games left on this schedule. He had 15 last year. He's about to overtake that. This not his linebacking core is the best in the NFL. I'm fascinated to see what happens with this Niners team. Now, before we hop on out of here, we will stay live both on YouTube 
it on Rumble. But turn on those notices. Make sure you subscribe, and we appreciate your support. Where are you watching from? Let us know in the comment section. Our post-game show is officially wrapped up. We'll continue to stay live here on YouTube. Appreciate everybody for the support. RexMD.com slash chat, 90% off, $2 per dosage. Make sure you hop on that deal while it is still there. And let's continue to talk about the Niners. Thank you.